All right, so we just got done welding up the torque boxes. Um, now we're going to apply a uh, coating that I really like. It's at every advanced auto or uh, parts store. Um, it's VHT epoxy paint. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it's self-priming, great it's for salt resistance and stuff, and uh, it's also semi-high heat if you're into high heat applications. But uh, yeah, so we've uh, we got these welded up in the high stress areas. Um, I went around it with a scotch bright and cleaned off all the undercoating, that sort of thing. Um, now we're just going to uh, apply the uh, epoxy paint over the welds, and then after we get done, we will test fit the anti-roll bar, and when everything's welded in place, we will go ahead and follow it up with a undercoating, and uh, that should seal this thing up from the elements. I know we live in Illinois, so we see salt here, so uh, I don't plan on driving in the salt, but just moisture in general, so. So now we're gonna uh, test fit the anti-roll bar, and uh, go from there. All right, so we got the anti-roll bar. Um, what I noticed online a lot of people don't do is uh, coat these things. These things come zinc coated, so they are a little bit rust proof. But I went ahead and uh, rust proofed it myself with some uh, Rust-Oleum uh, chrome paint. Um, you can buy it at your local car store. Um, and it, I like it because personally, I have the chrome molly front suspension and it really looks like a chrome powder coat. But what I did was tape up the ends so no paint got on there where the bearing is going to ride. And uh, what I am going to do now is install the plates. I'm going to use a little bit of this high temp grease because while you're welding, the grease likes to liquefy. With this high temp grease, it kind of resists that. But I'll put it in there on the needle bearings. And uh, this is the driver's side. You see the D again. Put that in place. Again with the passenger side, it shows a P. Hit it up with the high temp grease again. So this is the last these are ever going to be greased. They're, they're welded to the car, so they're permanent. And one thing I forgot to mention up underneath the car, you'll see, but uh, we test fit this earlier and we kind of know where it's going to sit. Um, it needs to sit the most position forward and up uh, towards the front of the car. So um, we've already marked it and taken everything down to bare metal where it sits, where it rides. So now we're going to throw it up in the car and uh, clamp it down to be welded. Again, it's the driver. And the passenger and we're looking to bring this as high as it can go and as forward as it can go usually that means almost touching the upper torque box plate so yeah we'll get this clamped into place and uh, start doing some tack welds all right so we got the anti-roll bar clamped up in here um, what we're going to do now, we have it all the way up and all the way forward of the vehicle. Um, what I kind of did and you kind of do, can do too at home, uh, use this bolt as like a reference from side to side and it'll kind of show you, you know, where you need to be. It gives you an idea. Um, of course, we need to uh, measure, we need to measure from the center of the bar to the bulkhead. And what I'm coming out with is about, you can see it there, it's about uh, two and a half inches. And we'll do that in three points. We'll do it here from the bulkhead to the bar, two and a half. We'll do it in the middle, two and a half. And then we'll do it on the uh, driver's side. The idea behind that is you want it totally parallel with the uh, torque box because uh, anything is in a bind. 
and you'll continuously check this motion right here. You'll do this, uh, you kind of make sure the bearing is free and isn't binding up as it's moving. Uh, you basically just try to operate it and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do another tack uh, right at the bottom side here. Measure it again. Uh, measure it in the middle, measure it on the driver's side. And then we'll uh, we'll finish it up with uh, inch welds, keeping the heat away from these bearings. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so we got the eighth of roll bar tacked in place. Um, we're gonna go ahead with our ruler and measure from the bulkhead to the bar. As you can see there, it is uh, two and three quarters. We're measuring the middle again, off the bulkhead. It's two and three quarters. And then this side, it's hard to get a flat surface on there, but it's within probably a sixteenth of an inch. But yeah, it's about two and three quarters again. Um, now we got it tacked in place, we're good. Um, we Check the motion once again. Everything's moving freely. Nothing's binding up. So we're gonna go ahead and tack it in place. We got the anti-roll bar tacked in place. Again, we're just checking clearance. And uh, you know, it wouldn't hurt one more time to just check the dimensions while it's not welded solid in place. So just uh, you know, check your measurements two or three times and check that this is not in a bind again. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and weld. Um, I'd probably say about an inch section at a time. We'll jump around, not to distort the metal plate uh, or hurt the bearings inside. So we'll jump from, do an inch on this side, move over here to this one, do about an inch, let it rest a little bit, let it cool off. Um, the instructions online say you can use water. Uh, I'm a painter and I don't like water and bare metal mixing. So uh, that to me is just it's dumb. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know, just let it dry naturally, let it let it uh, cool down naturally and stuff. So uh, we're not gonna introduce water to it. But uh, yep, let's go ahead and uh, load her up. All right, so we're gonna follow this up. Uh, we got everything welded in. Uh, again, the bar spins freely. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, Breast coat it with our VHT epoxy paint. What do you think, Derek? I think we're good to go, man. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, bring the rear end in and, uh, you know, mount the upper control arms. We should be good to go. Get this thing rolling. 